Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Ulrike and I am a skincare and key beauty blogger, content creator, beauty writer, podcaster and YouTuber. And today I thought I'd just do another one product review focusing on a serum that I've really been loving lately and that I think is currently starting to trend so I kind of wanted to catch the trend and give you a few informations about it in case you are getting curious about the number zin number three skin softening serum so number zin is a really popular brand at the moment they're still a relatively new indie brand but they basically I would say starting in 2020 kind of just shot to fame a lot of their products are on the bestseller lists of Olive Young and then very very fast actually they also were available internationally and I feel they're only just starting to get recognition here in the west now this serum which is the main focal point of today's review. I have shown this to you before in one of my favorites videos. I think it was in May, May, June, potentially. I don't fully remember, but I remember shooting uh, a texture shot of this. So I definitely have shown this to you before, but I just wanted to do a more focused one product review because sometimes it's easier, I think, to um, search for that and for people who want to find information about the product it's, it can be a bit annoying if you have to skip through a favorites video. So first I'm going to tell you a tiny, teeny bit about numbers in the brand, and then I'm going to go through the ingredient list a little bit, trying to highlight what sort of goodies are in the serum. And then last but not least, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this serum, the number three skin softening or bottle bottle serum. So Numbers In, as I said, still a relatively new brand, but super, super popular already in Korea with a number of products. And also for a younger, newer brand, they already have quite the um, number of products compared to say Pecom, who only have, I think five or six. Their Numbers In has already, I think a dozen or more products. The main sort of marketing spin of this brand is the whole numbers thing. So their marketing slogan is, what's your number? And I had a little bit of trouble understanding the whole concept, but from how I understand it, they picked numbers for specific skin concerns so that you can just look up the number for, let's say your skin is lackluster and you want some glow, you basically then look for a number, whatever is the corresponding number. So hence the numbers name in the numbers in brand name. Um, I'll be honest, that didn't really land with me. <laughs> Here's my main problem. And maybe this is just on the global English speaking website, maybe the Korean, website shop website is a little bit better uh, organized but given that the whole spin is that you're supposed to find the numbers for your skin concerns and it's supposed to be easier that way you know you know i need the number three toner and i need the number three serum or maybe i'm dehydrated then i need the number i'm making up the numbers by the way uh, i need the number five serum they don't really organize the products according to the numbers so i did check the entire website and i still have no idea which number corresponds to which potential skin concern <laughs> so i don't know about this numbers thing but be that as it may <laughs> what i really like about numbers in is that they are very ingredient focused and they do really seem to be very interactive with their followers and their customers and I really like that. They seem to really pay attention to what customers want, which products are doing well, what they can uh, maybe better and do better and I really like that and especially this idea of ingredients in a really potent dosage and really being very focused on key ingredients and usually also being very transparent about uh, reporting what to the percentage the ingredients have. Now, ingredient percentages are always a little bit, they can be a bit gimmicky. 
Lab Muffin, I believe, has done some work on that, and also the EcoWell, who are the actual scientists. So always listen to the scientists over me, being a skin soothe skin enthusiast. But sometimes giving you a percentage of a certain ingredient doesn't really tell you as much as you think. So always take it slightly with a grain of salt. But it is nice to know, for instance, in this serum that I'm talking about today, to know what the percentage of fermented ingredients is. It can help sometimes to determine whether or not this is actually a potent formula. And personally, I just really like transparent communication. And I feel Numbers In is a brand that really does that. They have a number of products trending at the moment and being very popular in Korea. One is their number three super glowing essence toner. As per usual, I have to look at my, <laughs> my notes because I can't remember all of these names. That toner, I think, was the first one to go viral in Korea. And supposedly, it really gives a super nice glow. And it is one of those toners that have almost a serum-like uh, effect on the skin. So it is very nourishing, very hydrating and glow enhancing. The other product that is super popular is their number six deep sleep mask serum. So it's almost like a sleeping mask but in serum form and it is supposed to really transform your skin and just smooth down any dehydration lines and just give you a plumper effect. And then also, their tone-up creams are really popular at the moment. I've seen those around quite a lot. They have a green base and then a more pink tone base. And now they have a new one. I think it's called something Aqua uh, with, I think, that technology that basically enriches the formula with more humectants and makes it super hydrating and refreshing. And then, of course, another bestseller is this serum, which... Uh, I finally tried after having seen it on quite a few influencer posts from other influencers and it is the number three skin softening serum. It also has a more Korean name. I don't know if they use both interchangeably or if they have changed uh, the name altogether. I have a feeling that the name Bodil Bodil Serum, which is what it's called in Korea, is probably for the Korean market. And then they thought, oh, no one knows what that means outside of Korea. So we're going to call it Skin Softening Serum. So who is this serum for? Well, mostly it is meant for people with sort of dull, fatigued, lackluster skin tone. It promises a certain glow to the skin and it also promises a lot of hydration and skin softening. So something a little bit more than hydration, also a sort of smoothing effect. And it also says that apparently it helps with pore size reduction. So it mainly targets people with dehydrated skin, loss of firmness and enlarged pores, especially enlarged pores due to loss of firmness. Because guess what? As you age, not only do you get wrinkles and saggy skin, the sagging of the skin also means that the tightness of the pores unfortunately also loses its firmness. And that's why very often when you're older, your pores start to look larger. So as for the ingredients, as I said, this is a fermented serum, so it uses, first of all, a probiotic complex, 42% of bifida ferment lysate, a very reliable, classic probiotic complex that is being added to a lot of products at the moment. Probiotics and this whole idea of microbiome-friendly skincare just is a massive trend, not just in Korea, but basically worldwide. So bifidum ferment lysate, and then we also get 21% galactomyces ferment filtrate. So galactomyces, uh, that's basically a fermented yeast extract. Uh, you also find it in a lot of first treatment essences. Um, I don't remember, there are two types of these fermented yeast extracts, uh, galactomyces and saccharomyces. And I know, never know which treatment essence uses which, but for instance, the IOP treatment essence uses one, one of the two. <laughs> uh, the very famous SK2 essence also uses one of those two and the Misha one. So it's a classic fermented ingredient that basically has a glow enhancing, slightly 
um, brightening effect on the skin. There's this whole myth. I never know if it's true or just a marketing story that SK2 told people to make it sound more storytelling-esque, I guess. But there's this idea that these fermented yeast extracts were discovered when women who worked in a sake factory who always sort of dipped their hands into their sake brew while working on it suddenly had these beautiful smooth youthful hands that were slightly brighter than the rest of their body and it was determined that it was the fermentation process the fermented yeast extract in the sake brew that had this amazing effect on their skin. Again, I don't know if it's true, but it certainly is true that these fermented ingredients can help with skin health. It also is very good for the skin barrier and it has a glow enhancing and just kind of plumping effect on the skin. And then there is another very interesting fermented ingredient in the bottle bottle serum and I always have to look at my notes because I cannot for the life of me remember the name and it is called Alta Romonas Ferment Extract. I'd never heard of this before. I've never seen it in another skincare product so I had to look it up and uh, do a little bit of research. So apparently this is a fermented polysaccharide so a fermented sugar molecule sugar is a natural humectant so a water grabbing ingredient and apparently the fermentation process is being done by using a bacteria a strain of bacteria that lives in the deep sea so very very fancy <laughs> and sounded very gimmicky but i did check and apparently there is some research out there that says that it does kind of, I guess, supercharge the humectant abilities of this sugar molecule. So it is a very, very potent humectant that draws water into the skin and has a plumping effect on the skin. And apparently it also may work as a skin soother and even potentially, the research is kind of apparently not super solid but it is out there i haven't looked up the research because again i'm not a scientist i just looked up secondary sources so take it with a grain of salt but it may actually even have skin repairing abilities so i think a very interesting ingredient this also contains the serum also contains goat milk extract i am a huge fan of goat milk because i find it a very softening and just smoothing and hydrating ingredients. So a very big fan, especially if you have sensitive skin, products with goat's milk can be fantastic for skin barrier health. It also contains silk extract. I never know how to feel about the silk extract. It supposedly also gives a bit of a glow and also works as a skin smoother and maybe has a firming effect on the skin, but hmm, silk extract, I never know if it's gimmicky or not, to be honest. And it also contains all sorts of humectants, hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and then also squalene, which is a moisturizing ingredient. It is a sort of, it's not really an oil. It is a, a natural part of your uh, natural oils, the skin, skin's natural oils. So usually tolerated very well, even if you have uh, the tendency to break out from oils. And as I said, it's a moisturizer. And this also contains niacinamide, which is great for so many things. Niacinamide is such a superstar ingredient. It's great for pore care. It can help make pores look a little bit smaller and more refined. It's great for skin barrier health. And it is also really good for um, sort of balancing out excess sebum on the skin and can help as an anti-inflammatory. So it helps with redness issues. The serum is also, and this is great news because here's the thing about numbers in products. Most of them contain pretty intense fragrance, but this serum, the bottle bottle serum or the uh, skin softening serum is fragrance and alcohol free. The first thing I really liked about this serum is its texture. I'll make sure to put in a texture shot for you for sure so that you can see. Um, I just feel, especially now in this current heat wave, <laughs> I don't really like anything that is sticky 
or too sort of thick and kind of sits on the skin. So I always need stuff that absorbs really fast. Uh, the number three skin softening serum really does feel very lightweight. It isn't as runny as some other ampoules or serums that I've tried re uh, recently, but it does really feel, it has a bit of a body to it. So there is a certain richness, but again, not cloying or not uh, too heavy on the skin. It absorbs very fast and it doesn't have any oily content. It's just a watery hydrating serum with a bit of richness to it. So perfect really if you like me have dehydrated skin that is more on the mature side. It will probably also be enough for dry skin because it has more richer ingredients like spolane in it. So as a hydrating serum, I would say it will work for pretty much all skin types. For oilier skin types, it is not too heavy, so that also works really, really well. I also feel that this really, it seems very potent. A little really seems to go a long way. If you look at this, you might think that I haven't used a lot of it, right? It looks as if I just barely touched it, but actually I've been using it quite a lot. <laughs> First of all, I noticed when I got this, it was really filled to the brim, which sometimes, I mean, 50 ml are 50 ml, and most serums in Korea are 50 ml, but sometimes you have a feeling that, I don't know, they leave a lot of space. Um, might just be the illusion of the bottle, of course, but this just seemed filled up very, very high, and it really takes a long time, I noticed, for this to go down, even though I have used it quite extensively. And I think this might actually be due to the potency of the ingredients because I just don't feel I need a lot. It also spreads very, very nicely on the skin. And again, really just sinks in very fast. Just what, the texture is really so nice. I very much enjoy this product just on a textural, textural? I don't know if that's the word. <laughs> Texture-wise, <laughs> formula-wise, I really enjoy it a lot, especially in this heat. Now, one of the claims that Numbersin makes for the serum is that it is super, super hydrating. I can pretty much confirm that. It is a very hydrating formula. I have been grasping, grabbing this quite a lot lately because my skin has just felt so dehydrated in this horrible summer heat. Especially as a nighttime serum, I find this very potent and super hydrating. It really helps with that feeling of tightness that you often get when you're dehydrated. So for that, it already gets a tick. Definitely one of the most hydrating products I've tried lately. And here's the thing why I really love this. So hydration, fantastic. But you could always say, you know, there's so many hydrating serums out there. What does this product have that they don't have? And it really does have a, a certain a certain extra something that to me makes it one of the best serums I've tried lately. I really have to say it. By the way, this wasn't sent to me. I bought this myself. I just wanted to point that out too, just in case someone thinks, I don't know, this is a hidden ad or something. I actually bought this. I bought this at Jolse during the sale. So just thought I'd put this out there. Not that any sponsored posts that may or may not come on any of my channels would ever be biased. I would never, never sell my opinion, but that's just beside the point. I always feel, I always feel when I like a product, I need to make sure <laughs> that people know that this is really just me liking a product. Anyway, <laughs> back to the serum. The reason why this to me is just a really interesting serum, especially if you are, I would say over 30, 35. So you're kind of starting to see your, shall we say your skin changing <laughs> as it does with age. This really does seem to have a softening effect on my skin. I noticed it probably after maybe a week of using it. Every time I used this, my skin would, just, especially overnight, my skin would just feel so much, yeah, softer. I really think they chose a good name for this product because that is really, for me, it's number one uh, superstar power. It just seems to make skin very velvety and very soft. And it almost has a bit of a, almost like a blurring effect on the skin, especially around here, those nose 
it's not a wrinkle it's more i think from sagging and losing tone that you have these little you know these little folds here <laughs> i hope you all know what i mean <laughs> and this is kind of always where i check whether a pro or not a product has a good effect in terms of anti-aging brightening uh, firming etc and definitely when I use the skin softening serum, I always feel that this just looks a little bit smoother and a little bit sort of, again, almost blurred out. Not super prominent. It's not like you know, a TikTok or Instagram filter. It is a subtle effect, but it is noticeable. And certainly when I touch my skin after using this, especially again overnight the next day, skin just kind of seems to have more of a smooth, softer, slip to it and that to me really makes it a pretty damn fantastic product i would say it's probably because of the mix of the fermented ingredients and all those really intense humectants that skin just seems softer and plumper and just i don't know happy i guess so yeah really to me a great great hydrating serum that just has that little bit of extra oomph i guess something extra that other uh, serums don't really have. Um, when it comes to the other promise that they make about pore care, tightening pores or reducing pore size, that I can't confirm. I didn't see any effect on my pores. So if you are looking for a specific pore care serum, I would say this this one is maybe not the one I would pick. However, if you are looking for a serum that gives you really intense hydration, has a very pleasant and lightweight texture, works really well for dehydration issues, and especially if you are 35 plus, you're kind of starting to be more on the mature side and you want something that just helps to blur out the first sort of dehydration or fatigue lines. This is also a really great one. Also, Galactomyces are great for brightening. I haven't seen a dramatic brightening effect from this, but it certainly does give you a bit of a youthful glow. Again, important to know that it is a subtle effect, so don't expect it to miraculously transform your skin. I don't want to make false promises. But from my point of view, after having used it for a couple of weeks, I really do see that it does live up to its name and it is really skin softening and smoothing. And I really, really enjoy this so, so much. And that was it for today. My little review of the Numbers In Number 3 Skin Softening Serum. Very, very popular at the moment in Korea. We'll see how it does in the rest of the world in the next months. And yeah again if you have dehydrated skin if you have uh, mature skin it also works for younger skin uh, if you want to try it out and see what fermented ingredients can do especially for your skin barrier health alcohol free fragrance free so sensitive skins who should do very well with it and if you just want a bit of maybe tightening and firming not dramatically so but you will see an effect and especially if you have slightly rough skin I feel this is a fantastic addition to any skincare routine. And with that, we are at the end of the review and I hope it helped you in your decision whether or not the serum might be for you. Uh, I hope wherever you are in the world that you are not suffering, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're not, that you're not suffering as badly as uh, we do here in Europe right now with the heat wave. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like. I always also really love when people leave little comments and I try my hardest to always respond to the comments. So let me know if you've tried the serum or if you want to try it after seeing this review. And if you really want to help me out as a small creator, please consider subscribing to this channel. It only takes one click for you, but it means so, so much to me and it makes such a difference to our work as small creators on this platform. I see you again in the next video next week and until then, take care, bye.